Welcome back everybody to Fun Fantasy 14 Online with Clear Oceans. This is the Moogle Treasure Trove event of 2024. We're in the first hunt for Genesis, so it's the event that ran from January through to March. I'm just going to have a quick trot. No, I won't have a quick trot anyway. I was going to say I'll have a quick trot over to Limsa and see if the boat's still running. Um, it is 5.10, so they'll be, they'll be in that. Oh, look, why don't we anyway? If we can afford it. <laughs> 380, 339. Hmm. We cannot afford to have a quick jaunt over to Limsa. Maybe I can have a quick jaunt on the. On the. I know. So if you're stuck and you're short of cash, we need to earn some. So we'll do that in a minute. But what I might do first is we'll go off to Gradania. That's 150. Do we have 120 left? We have 185. Excellent. Let us teleport ourselves down to the deck. Uh, the, what do you call it? The airship landing. Boom. We'll buy ourselves a ticket if we can. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> that was nearly a mistake. Limsa. There we go. Much cheaper to travel this way. It just is a little fiddlier. And what we will do is we'll just head all the way um, over to Limsa and we'll see if we can hook onto the boat and board it before it, um, it sets sail. we need to find ourselves an etherite closest done at probably the bulwark or oh, either one i think it's the bulwark hole not sure it might have might have been um journey wench but that's okay the no bulwark because we should have the etherite out here there we go So many AFKs are ah, people waiting for the boat though, so let's hopefully, if we quick, maybe we'll get down there in time. We need to be a fisherman. There we go. Uh, wrong, with, wrong way. Here we go. Endeavour, registered aboard. Yes, we can embark on to the Strait of Melthor today. Let me check my bait situation. I do have a good backpack situation. Let's try it again. Ah, uh, radio. Plump worms, krill, and ragworms. You know, I'm really low on krill. Let's go get some krill. I know, we're just about broke, so this will be exciting. Let us purchase items. Can I sell anything exciting in here that might help me? I do have 294 pots of stuff, which is only for one guild, though. Uh, how much cool can I buy? We can buy eight of them. Let's make ourselves broke. Go for broke. Oh, that's just a scary sight. Radio. Now, I don't know when this quest is going to pop, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking we could probably do some... Um, some fishing, I guess, while we're waiting, because we're not going anywhere. Or we could do some crafting. I have a log. And I have some animal skin. I know, it is going to go off any minute, though, I think. 5.14. Why don't we just stay as a fisherman and uh, we'll fish with something other than krill or any, any of the other baits. I have stem borers. 
Honey worms. Spoon worms. Let's have a look and see what we didn't we try them last time and weren't they weren't they a dud? Maybe not spin. On second thoughts. Let's change our bait to rat to ragworms. Let us commence our ocean fishing voyage. One more to go, not quite a full boat. I know someone's AFK. <laughs> I wonder if they'll miss the boat. Oh, you never know. But little Griffin's like, yeah, Mama, let's go fishing. You stay out of the bait bucket this time, you little turkey. Come on, it has to love fish. What do you reckon? It's got to be one of those birds that loves fish. Front of the boat, back of the boat. Why don't we go in the... Ooh. Well, let's see what we can catch near the coral reef, shall we? Hopefully we won't catch a snag. That would be bad. Alrighty. Cast in some of that. Cast in some of that. That would be a good idea. Maybe I should have grabbed some food too, but never mind. I mean, we're only a chef. I didn't notice my, my rod bobbing. Let's try that again. Ooh, spectral harbingers, okay. Will you just cast? My goodness, girl. And I lost my English fortune on that one because I, I derped up with both my keys. There we go. Southern Strait of Melthor. We've been here before. I wonder if we fished with ragworms before. Maybe we should try something different. Amora Mora. Well, it's a fish with a ferocious bite. Uh, so why don't we uh, throw in again and see how we go. Jellyfish or crabs, though, I think a plump worm, aren't they? Well, let's try it. Let's grab our bait box. Let's switch on over to our plump worms. So we've had dolphins, and now we have feathered friends. Uh, oh, I'm still in a party. That's awesome. Um, Maybe there is just only two of us, but I can see Jesse's Lolita, so maybe, I don't know, maybe they're in a party, and um, we're not. That could be it too. Let's chum it up. Cast our line. Away we go. Let's start hooking stuff. We can try and build some anglers out so we can start using Thaliac's favour. Now if the Mamora Mamora like the um, the rag one, we might have to go back to it. But we did catch some on the plump worm as well. Maybe it's krill I need for jellyfish or crabs. Why don't we see? Bait box. I only have a few krill, so once once they're gone, they're gone. We do need them, I think, for the um the ocean current. Here. <laughs> Ah. Oh. 
know, I hit four instead of three. So much for being a touch typist, right? Let's try again. Jelly, there we go. It is krill for jellyfish. Must fish faster, faster we begin. And there are some areas where there's no crabs or jellyfish. Alrighty, and again. See them dolphins? Oh, no. I know, having a day of it. There they are. With a bit of luck with the dolphins. Always good to have them around. Alrighty. Fishing it again. Let's go. So what we might do is we'll fish till the end of our krill, then we'll try some plump, uh, plump worms, see how that goes. I think so, I'm noticing with these we get them on the fish that are sometimes asked for in missions, regardless of whether or not the mission is running. So it may just mean that this is a fish that you're asked for in a quest maybe. Um, so yeah. Something like that. We'll work it out. That's a pretty fish. Excellent. Let's go again. Chum it. Throw in, throw in the rod, the line, the line, not the rod. My gosh, you need that thing. A level to Ken. Okay. Looks like I'm still earning XP after 60, which is nice because I always thought I'd get you know, capped on 60. Because it happened in with one of my other characters, but clearly not this time. I have I have bought another DLC since then, so maybe that's what the difference is. I could go for um hooking and so on. But uh, I think we'll just stick with the normal, just cast it fast because I don't have enough GP to really do much better. And we're already doing better with our better gear, so that's kind of cool. Alrighty, look at this. Sunrise. How gorgeous is that? Krill next. <laughs> what were we supposed to be using this time? Alright, so I've got a little bit of krill. Actually, I've got some fish on board now. Maybe I have enough to actually do it, do something. Wow, oh, look at this. It was a sunset, not a sunrise. Wow. Alrighty. Well, what's in the bait box? We have eight krill. Let's go. And then we'll just go for plump worm, I think. Leopardy Elves, Chummit, Cast the Line. <coughs> Kitch it. Go. 
past the line. All right, we can get some Thaliax favor now, which will restore some GP, which will give us a little bit of fishing for a bit. <gasps> nice, thank you, Selena Levita. Oops, and I just pulled my line in. Alrighty, let's go. I'm about to run out of bait, so... Can you hear that heartbeat? And the star begins to twinkle like oceans in the sky. Please. One ghost shark, okay. The twinkle fades to nothing. Sad. Goliax Faber. Let's go with two. I know I can't do this one at the moment. Oh, no bait. Alrighty, let's go to Plump Worms then. Merman's main. That's what happens when you change your bait. Navigator's something or other. I am going to flip my bait down to ragworms and then we'll see what we can get. Navigate his print. I love the view. The ocean twinkles like stars in the sky. I don't think we're up to catching whatever that is. The twinkle fades to nothing. Well, I don't think it changed anything. All right, let's change our bait over to plump worms because we're out of we're out of krill, and we'll see what we can fish up. An anchovy. Let's put our drag line on. Let's do some mer 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 thaws, whatever that is. Let's do some of this, and some of that, and some of this. Well, let's see what we can find. Oh, yeah. Okay, three for strong, three for strong bites. Oops. Oh, no. I lost my bait. Ah, oh, and we can't see them. Of course not. Alrighty, now let's try. So what I did is we should now see two little exclamation marks above our heads. Three for weak bites, four for strong bites.
I was doing it the opposite way around the other day, <laughs> which wasn't working out very well for me. Lepidio, let's cast again. Uh oh, that's not going to give me much C enough CP to use my special. I know now I do. Oh, I ran out of patience at the wrong time. So basically, you have to have this running, and it only lasts for about 60 seconds. And then these are available. So I had this set up to um, for my strong bite, and as I pressed it, I ran out. And so I couldn't use that anymore, because that, that unlocks these. It's like, oh, so sad. Alrighty. I know I'm not having a great run this morning on the boat. I think it's just me being a bit klutzy, first thing. However, I've got work today, so... Wow, uh, doesn't she look happy? Ragworm for the last, Joyce and Drift says. Well, let's follow Joyson's advice and we'll go for Ragworm. And see what we can fish up. Wow, it's snowy. Right, change our bait. Grab our ragworm. Grab our ragworm. I know, you've got to give the boat time to stop. <laughs> Otherwise it won't let you. Uh, control 2 for Angler's Fortune. And cast our line. Alrighty. 3 for weak, 4 for strong. Strong is 2 exclamation marks. Weak is 1. And if you don't have enough GP, it doesn't matter. Oh, I hate using this thing. Alright, try again. It's still running, so we'll try again. I know, I've just got to remember which one to use. I think I used the wrong one in the end. Oh, man. Toss dagger. All that effort for a toss dagger. What? Alrighty. And our fortunes. Let's not run out again. Alright, Mooch to land an even bigger catch. Let's do it. Out of patience. So we're going to just have to hope we've got the skill to catch it. An Elder Decinthus, Denicthus. All right, well, I spot a ruby glimmer in the ocean. I don't have any chum to draw it my way, but we'll give it a shot anyway. stone. Really? Because uh, can't we catch those without having to mooch? I know, right? Wine, wine, wine. A mega squid. All hint of crimson vanishes, yeah. One day we're going to be good enough to catch, or we'll have the equipment to catch one of those. If you have any complaints of the shed, she'll take them up. 
Hey, congratulations. Level 70. And no, I don't quite have enough to use this and still be able to use these. We're just going to wait a little bit more to pull those in. Got a little bit more anglers out. Let's use it. And we go. Two. And one. And go. Oops, I should have used my art, but never mind. And two. Ah, that one. No, wrong one. <laughs> Okay, and two Rugosaurus, also known as Swimming Shadows. Okay, three for two and four for one. We got this, eventually. Oh, what do I use for three? All right, we're getting our fish with ferocious bite. Uh-oh. Shadow lurking under the surface belongs to a beast of legend that you've only ever heard about it. I'm, yep. <laughs> The shadow is no more. Hammerclaw. Well, we caught another crab. Let's toss our line in. See what we can dig up. might change my bait to plump worm again. Toss it in. Oh, I could have mooched with it. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I would probably only would have caught an oceans anyway. Three and four, huh? Wow, we just got that cast in. Last fishy for the day. Will it tick one of our boxes? Maybe. Tripod fish. All right. Well, let's see how we went. Not as well as we have on other days, but not too bad, I think. Probably enough to buy ourselves a teleport back to where we want to be. Otherwise, we're just going to go looking for... Um, maybe? I don't know. We're going to go looking for... Yeah, definitely not as good. We did go okay, though. Rim team, Galadian Bay, Man of Fish, Rare Catch. 2,500 points or higher, Ocean Fishing Amateur. Okay, catch eight or more different fish. Alright, not too bad. 5,218 points with the bonuses. Radio, let's go sell our catch because I'm pretty sure we still cannot desynthesize it. Well, I don't know, we'll check first. Yet yeah, no. I think it's a skill I need to learn. Um, and I, I get it from leveling up. So we'll um, toddle on over this way. 
sell our catch to the merchant and mender, maybe repair our gear on the way. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't have the coin to repair my gear. Let's purchase some items, and by purchase some items, I mean let's sell all our fish. Good fish in there, I guess. Beast skin blood. All oh, right, well that can go as well then. Alrighty, how much did we make ourselves? Three ninety-eight. That will not be enough to head on over. See what we're going to do. We're going to head on up to our lev met, and we're going to do some lev quests. And we'll do that. Actually, we've also got an errand to finish running, so we might do that as well. Um, I know, right? Lev quest. Now, where is the lev met in this strange old city? Because what we'll do is we'll go into our logs, grab our challenge log. Um, we could also put ourselves up for a dungeon. That might help. There's one more fate to go, that'll give us a thousand coin. And if we do five more, we'll get another two thousand. Lev quests, five lev quests with different lev plates and twenty lev quests. Uh, so, yeah, high quality items. We've got a few things we can do uh, to gain some coin. Uh, it looks like the easiest one to do would be just the cooking right up. So why don't I grab my little chef. Where is she? Culinarian. We will grab our N. Now, I have maple syrup. So I'm out of I'm out of maple sap. But I can make maple sugar. Um, let me just quick synthesize. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Slow synthesize one of these. We're going to use it. Some touch. And do that. What's that? Tricks of the trade. Yep. Appeared slow this morning. There we go. Three pots of high quality maple sugar. And let us quick synthesize that one. Yep, just the one. And the synthesis. And we're going to grab our materials. What? Oh, yeah, I know why. Because I can't use the high quality stuff unless I specify it. I forgot. Alright, some more high quality maple sugar. Beautiful. Now we're going to go quick synthesis. Maximize it. And away we go. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just bringing my culinarian up to level 19 uh, so we can go back and get that mission that we couldn't get that will give us some skills on um, materia so we can learn to meld it. Uh, but I'm also getting stuff out of my backpack <laughs> which is always handy. We'll see if there's something we can cook with our maple sugar too as well. So the higher the level as we go down the list, the higher the level of the stuff that we cook, the um, the more likely we are to have uh, more points. So while she's doing that, let's have a quick look at our, our duty log, our challenge log. All right, so we've already crafted 30 items and earned that thousand. What we're hoping for is some high quality items. Um, so I guess after I do this run of a hundred, we'll um, we'll do we'll do enough to get that two grand. And then we might go and botanically gather a uh, hundred things for our botanist, and then we'll do some carpentry. 
maybe, 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 maybe. I have 12 of these. It's going to open up a little bit. Um, what was I doing? Right, so I can extract the material, but not right now. It's worth 30 gil. I mean, we could just sell all of it, but it's a pain in the neck to get. That one's 60 because it's uh, material 2. Material 1's all worth 30. You can't purchase them for love or money. Well, you can purchase them for money, I guess. But, um, yeah. Let's just put that over there. I can't do that while I'm... Yeah, so no messing in your backpack while you're, while you're trying to work things out. Alrighty. We also need to look to her... Um, and that the reason we're doing these quests so we can get the gold is so we can travel out to where her next um, quest is for Conjurer so that she can um, get more than just one or two skills because she's going to need a couple more before she goes into Cutter's Cry which is one of our quests, one of our event dungeons trials in this Allows you to practice without using materials in, a, in an ideal method for testing high-level recipes. To make sure you don't mess it up. I don't use it very often. I'm going to pop it over here. I do use that though. That should be up where I can see it. How are we doing? Are we there yet? <laughs> don't look. We still have 39 to go. Yeah, so basically doing your um doing your challenges is a fairly good way to get some to get some money. Uh gold saucer, we do need to go there, don't we? Complete three mini games, we can do that. Earn a hundred for mini games, we can do that pretty quick. We do need to participate in a gate. So that's two and a half thousand for not a lot of effort. Successfully can see you can participate in them and fail and you'll still get this achievement. Uh, this this challenge achievement. Um, we only have about a half hour remaining too before it resets. Enter three Chocobo races. Enter twenty Chocobo races. We might uh, focus on that. That's quite good, Gil. Play triple triad ten times. Win tri ten triple triad matches. A bit harder than it sounds. Uh, we haven't done battle hall at all yet, or the open tournament. Lord of the Minion once. Wow, we could just do that. Oh, that's okay. This is MGP2, so it's not real. It's not real coins. Maybe we won't do that. We will focus on real coins. I need to complete one more unique challenge and I'll have 10,000 coins. Why don't we do that? All right, I know how to do that. That's fine. So I used to think this was where things that were completed went, but actually it's it's completing challenges. And if you do 30 unique challenges, you get 15 grand on top of 10 grand, on top of 10 grand, on top of 10 grand. So they're actually worth doing your challenge log. So you're not continually broke. So we might look to that, I think. Once we finish crafting up this storm, yes. All right, so challenge log. What's the next challenge we're gonna get done? We are currently doing crafting. In crafting, we have 20 high quality items to craft. Let's get it done. It's gonna be a little bit harder starting with ordinary stuff, but we can do this. Yeah, so we go basic touch, actually, and veneration's in the wrong spot. Okay, and we'll do it again. So we'll bring our chances up to 88, it'll do, venerate it, fix it, master's mend, 
Oh no, not that. Well, whatever. All right, high quality. Have we done it yet? Probably not. I think it's actually counting each one as a single thing. Yeah, so 9 out of 20. All right, let's do it again. Maybe not. Let's find out what it's counting them as. Because we produce three items each time we do this. So I'm not sure if it's counting it as one or if it's counting it as three. We'll mend it so we have more little dots here. Veneration lets me do more with less um, less movement. Oh, that's right. Ten. Yep. So each each single measure is one. So we need to do this ten more times. Let's go. Already. One. And two. So basic touch to improve the quality. Master's mend to give us more um, to give us more dots. Veneration to let us do more with less, although it doesn't really make any difference because I still have to do it in two. And then we do do it again, that's eleven. When you're a higher level, you can actually do the um, swift, uh, swift. Sorry, the the one we that I'll get it in a minute. Quick synthesis, and you will luck out on your um, enough to just get that without actually having to do it individually. But when you're really low level and you're still starting out. You need to actually do it one at a time, which does make it a little bit slower, but you earn you earn your gill. Makes you work for your gill. There you go. Alrighty. Synthesize again. And again. So basic two basic touches to improve the quality. When you're crafting items for NPCs, you may need to know that skill, so. It's generally a good thing to have. All right, what are we at? 11 or 12? Fourteen, because I can't count. Radio, let's go. And that was 15. Let's go again. Sixteen. Four more times. Eighteen. Almost completed, we're on 19, one more to go.
That's it. Crafting of a storm, 1300 XP and 1000 gold. 10,000 gold. Well, I'm an even happier bunny than I was before. What are we at? All right, let's have a look at our challenge log. See what else we can get. How come it's 10,000? <laughs> I know why. Because we completed our fifth challenge. So we got 10,000 gold for completing that. And then we had 1,000 gold for completing the 20 items. No, 2,000 gold for completing the 20 items. So there's 12,000 easy gold, relatively. Radio. Which means we can go and gather some timber. I know, I do want to level up a little bit more, but I won't bore you to tears twice in one session. Well, maybe not twice in one session, right. Let's go and gather. So we'll grab our botanist. Um, you'll, and we're going to gather items of a comparable level. We are level 8. So we're going to go to Gridania. Let's just grab our teleport. You know what? Before we go to Gridania, let's get rid of Toxic Avenger deliver the vials of Pelican poison to Wiltswiss. Get that out of the way. You know, and if we see anything to gather along the way, we might just do that too. All right, now we're in our port. Boom. Let's go for a run. So Wiltswiss, if you remember, was the young lady who had the disappointing letter from her mother. We don't have sneak on. Let's put sneak on. Um, not only that, but she wanted us to murder Rothlight pelicans. And man, if those things see us, we're going to be chased from here to kingdom come. Is that a fate? And that's a Rothlight pelican. My sneak is gone because it saw me. It is chasing me. I'm going to run in here. These big strong marine dudes can look after me. And the Rothlight pelican knows it. Alrighty, looks like we need to be a conjurer. There goes my health. Wait, I'm a conjurer. Handing over that. Alright, I won't pick up her next mission. Um, we could join this fate as well as a conjurer. Because in our challenge log, it looks like a convenient way. 1 minute 45, I just need to complete one more. Killer Mantis Egg Sacks. Level Sink. Let's see if we can kill enough. I don't know if we can, but we'll try. I always used to wonder how I, how I didn't have a gold problem I'm with my other character, and the, the reason is because um, I was always doing my crafting and leveling up, so I, I amassed a small fortune in a very rapid, in a very short period of time just from doing um, my crafting and my gathering um, and the occasional fate, because I used to do fates as I came across them, well, I still do really, as you see. Uh, let's go this way. Here they come. Forty-one seconds. I don't think we're going to get the the high level on this fate. We're going to try though. No, we won't get it. Ow. All right. Well, we're going to fail it, but we'll still we'll still get something from it. I didn't move in time. Oh, failure. We did get 22 gold and 2,100 <laughs> XP for it. Rightio, let us, see, seeing as we have the cash to do so, let's teleport over to New Gridania. Ah, uh, there we go. That is, however, one less, um, one less mission for us to complete, which means our journal should be looking a little bit healthier now. 21 out of 30, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. 
10 pots of maple syrup. Well, how ironic. So, we could do that as well. Let's find where it is on the map. Over there. What's over here? Oh, no, that's for delivery. Okay, maple syrup. Maples. I don't know where it is. Let's go into our, um, actually, let's go talk to our Moogle friend and see what we can purchase, because that would be fun. We are exchanging tombstones. Scrolling down to the bottom. We have obtained and registered all three of these. So I guess we're saving up to get... I actually really want to... What does that do? Bonuses for the meal. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, I'm actually saving up now for mounts. So we've managed to buy all of our... Um, all of our minions from this from this thing. And now we're going to go and buy some mounts. And I forgot how much uh, how much they were, so never mind. We need to go to North Shroud, I believe. This one. Yeah, Central Shroud. Let me get that right. And I need to go to the White Wolf Gate. No, I need to go to the Blue Badger Gate. That's right. I went to White Wolf last time. Uh, let me see where we are on the map. This does not look right. Eh. All right, are we our botanist? No. Do I have trees in this area? Hmm, that I can harvest. No, so I am at the wrong gate again. Whoa, where am I? I know where I want to be, I'm just not there. I need to be... at the White Wolf Gate. Radio. So what we're going to do... or maybe I need... no, I might need to just be here. This might be where I need to be. Yep. Harvest what? Maple sap. Huh. Well, fine. Actually, none of these have question marks on them. Alrighty. So I don't need to be doing that. Where's Bent Branch Meadows? I just have to remember where I've got to go. Alright, we're going to jog down. We're going to actually tackle any patch of trees we see. Um, on the way to Bent Branch. We're only a level 8 botanist. We really do need to... Level 9 botanist now. Very good. sure that's yeah so this is the bannock there's bent branch over there ah uh, clear are you really sure you of course you're sure uh-huh don't panic all right i normally come out of this gate for the area that's here Let's see if we can find any trees Yeah, I think they're above my level. That's annoying. We could just use the bridge clear. Alrighty, so even if you're in an area that you can harvest, if you're not the level where you to harvest the, that area, you won't see it. So, I guess what we're going to do, seeing as I don't know where my maple sap is, we're going to go back to plan A and we're going to harvest maple logs. Because we are about to embark in carpentry, and carpentry can be pretty expensive. Also, I want to check in my challenge log while we're running, of course. 
and we will see if that little hack we had a minute ago uh, was worth it. Own level 100 times radio. I don't know. How many, how many do we have? Nineteen. Okay, so it did count. I haven't harvested here before. Right, well that will actually be helpful. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if that counted. Yes, it did. Right, let's go find the next tree. Alright, we're just going to harvest. Quick gathering. We're going to harvest some crow feathers. Back to the maple logs. I know there was one more bit of mistletoe we could have gotten, but it is it is a very quick way to level up um, by gathering all of the new stuff that you don't have. There we are. There's an invisible critter doing its thing. All right. So for carpentry, we're going to need to start with maple logs. So what I'm thinking is we might just go nuts and just get our maple logs done. Just make sure that that's counting still. I'm not sure. Let's do one more. It might be because we've leveled we now actually need to go back to that patch we're in. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. So it should be about thirty one. No. Alright, we have leveled. That we let's go back this way. So working out where your level is, especially when it shifts. So that was those are probably level one trees. We're going to go looking for our level ten patch that we had a minute ago, and we're just going to collect some ash, and we'll we'll buy our maple logs with the proceeds from um, let's use triangulate. that we had from making a gathering log is what I'm trying to say I'm lost aren't I ah <laughs> uh, yeah alright let's head back this way I think I actually need to go I found a tree out. Oh, never mind. Let's go see if we can harvest these trees now. No. Right. Back to New Gradania. And see, I can teleport now, so we might um, focus on a few other things. Back into here. Back to the Ethernet. 
Back to White Wolf. Yellow Serpent. Alrighty. Um, I think. No. All right. Looks like I'm lost again. That's okay. Level five. Maple sap. Well, we found it. <laughs> so it was the north and not the central that I needed. Radio. I know, I want to collect the other ones. I also want to see how we're going in our challenge log. It's not counting them because they are only level 5 trees. I saw glimmering over here. So we might as well... Pick up the last lot of sap from Sicily. Cecily. There we go. I'm going to hit. So there's usually about four trees in an area and you run between them because otherwise, um, yeah. When we get to this one, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the automatic quick gathering. We're just going to get ourselves an earth shard. We're going to get ourselves some cinnamon. And we're going to get ourselves a beehive chip. Alright, that's level 12. We need to find the level 10 gathering spot. And I haven't memorized all of these. Like, I haven't done them often enough for them to stick. Usually if they show up, there's something you can harvest, so that's helpful. Now I am lost again. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. I need to go to Ben Branch. And then she goes to Quarry Mill. There's a reason for that. I'm actually seeing if I can harvest the trees just outside of Quarry Mill. I don't think so, but we'll try. Yeah. They're too high a level. Ben Branch. Actually, Hawthorne Hut might be might be there. Let's check it. I have a feeling those level twenties though, which means they'll be too high for the likes of us. Normally, there's one on this path. So it looks like yes. We're too lower level for the trees in this area. Maybe. I'm not in the right spot though. Sigh. Sigh, sigh. You know, I think sometimes it's just better to do the trees you can get and then just get to level 20 life becomes a lot easier. 
Bent branch. Boom. Because this is where we ran into the, um, the, the level of trees that we were, so we went across the bridge. We can see it now. Oh my gosh. Okay, level 15. It will count these. I don't have appropriate offhand equipment. No, that's correct. I haven't been given my sickle yet. However, if that is showing on that side, we can go over here and hopefully these trees will now be live. Although I think these are level 20s, so we might be out of luck. No, I can see it. We actually can do it. Alrighty. Level 15. Okay. We don't have that. We haven't. Oh, we've collected one of those. Yep. Elm logs. Alrighty. Let's go. Thirty, excellent. All right, level thirteen. So we should be right until we hit about level fifteen or sixteen. We'll just get these elm logs because we're going to want them. We're going to try and get the elm logs. The only trouble with doing something a little bit above your level is you don't get anything if you don't harvest anything, and you only get the same amount of attempts. Attempts. Uh, so we maybe will will hack something a little lower. 53, 100% chance of getting wind shards. We are going to need those for crafting and we always run out. Oh, that was three gathering points. Funny thing is, is if you're ever logging with um, someone in an area like this, I'm just doing this because you get more XP if you actually manage to get something. Um, they'll have slightly different nodes to, to uh, log at, or and even if they do get the same one, you, you still both get the things. No one uses it, so someone else can't. About to say that 40% chance is coming up an awful lot, isn't it? We don't have a sickle equipped, which is what we need um, for those lush vegetation patches. But we will get one. We'll get one issued to us. And if we get impatient, we can just um, we can just purchase one as well. So basically, we need to log about 25 times successfully log about 25 times each time we level up it becomes more likely that we're actually going to um to make it i want to go find a sickle let's see if we can pick one up field gear i mean i could get some of those but what i'm thinking Tools. Head knife hatchet scythe. Level 10. Let's have it. Let's equip it. So you don't have to wait till your boss gives you your uh, better gear. Update the gear set. You can just get straight into it.
And if you don't know which tools are for your character class, it actually will tell you at the end of the description of the merchants, it'll say botanist primary tool or botanist secondary tool. So, um, yeah, that's that. Alrighty. Buffaloes. Oh no, I've got it on auto, haven't I? Well, we're getting a lot of beans this time. Okay, that was Gatherer's Boon. Let's turn off the quick gathering. We're going to grab a tree toad, hopefully. We're going to grab hummus. We're going to grab majorum. Grab that. We've learnt Pioneer's Gift. Increases the chance of triggering Gatherer's Boon. Excellent. Oh, there's some usual thing. Over there. They're very spread out over here, though. Alrighty. Let's use it anyway. Seeing as we're collecting so many broad beans, what we can grab will go quick gathering. The higher, the lower the chance of getting it, the higher the XP you'll get for it. So that's a level 15 item, so we'll go for that. Of course, also the higher chance you'll miss. Here, let's grab this. We're on quick gathering now. So we're now rapidly going into a point where we're not missing as often and we're leveling up fairly quick. Of course, you could argue that I don't want to level up too quick or I'll have to go find myself a level 20 patch pretty soon, and that's not uh, that that dumb an argument, we might go down after some level 11 stuff. Alrighty, we'll make sure that we're, um, harvest items comparable to your level. 15, we need to do the highest level items anyway. Let's go with that. All right. Yep, they still counted. So we're level 16. But you get the idea. We're just harvesting stuff until we um, hit 100. But guys, I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking I might have dragged you down this road a little too long. It's getting to an hour and a quarter. So I might just harvest one more patch of bits next episode I think what we'll do is we're going to head into um, we'll head out to um, to increase our levels uh, I do want to see if I can get any more like I do want to get some more cash though out of these but it is about to reset if you have a look now in challenge log we have about 36 hours remaining and it will reset on the 6th of February at 1900 okay so we, we've got a day okay let's get going back to Bent Branch actually no back to Conjurer's Quest in Nature's Embrace on the map so we're going to Quarry Mill. And on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you enjoyed this episode so far, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. We're back where we started, but I'll check you later. Take care out there.